okay guys so welcome to today's video um so as you guys saw i was sanding most of it so after sanding there were some deep scratches and there were some dents so what we have done is we have applied spot putty so that spot putty application basically takes some time to dry it's not like the um, body filler that we use so this has a curing time so i let it cure fully and at the same time i have to sand the uh, front forks and also the cylinder head um, cylinder head is actually sanded i just need to check if there is any spot putty that we need to apply on that after that we have to plan how to paint this because keeping this in the right height and it should not fall and we should be able to you know turn it around while painting so all those things are very important so that planning is also important so that's what we are going to do next and hopefully get this painted today the weather is actually little cold so i don't know whether it is going to rain before we start painting but anyways it's going to take time so let's wait for this to dry at the same time i'm going to sand the front fork and also i'm going to put spot putty on the head okay so yeah we'll catch you guys okay. after that so everything is sanded now basically it is ready for the final sanding uh, the forks actually have two three places where we need to put some bit of spot so which i'm going to do and then after that we are going to let this cure for almost 20 minutes and after that we are going to uh, sand it properly and then finish it for paint so from the looks of it i think this is achievable in today's video so let's hope everything goes as per plan um, since the crows is outside i'm not much worried about over spray but all these we have to do something about them otherwise the over spray is going to ruin them so yeah um, let me go ahead and apply some spot putty and then we will sand it after 20 minutes okay so the body work on the panels is complete it came out well it took a lot of time than i thought it would so now the next item that we are going to do is we are going to paint everything so the paint is ready on top of that table all we need to do is find a way of placing all this somewhere and then we'll start the painting process so i have to do some makeshift arrangement so that i can paint it without much of a issue so let's use couple of these buckets and all and we'll put all these parts on top of it similarly for the forks we have to think about something so i think one or two fork i can go and put it on the vice once it is painted so yeah let's give it a proper thought and see how we can do it so the next thing what i'm going to do is i'm going to put you guys on a tripod and i'm going to mix the paint some bad news 
like you saw in the thumbnail yeah, the paint got ruined so the main reason was the paint was almost one and a half two years old we mm -hmm. didn't realize this was the paint i used in the rx100 painting so luckily i didn't paint everything like these forks i haven't touched so there are two three panels which actually started showing the uh, lifting it is these three plus that one four plus the head so it's okay you know these kind of things do happen so what we'll do is we'll buy some paint tomorrow and we will paint it this paint is not very expensive it is like 100 150 bucks so we can do it again not a problem so yeah that's a plan so we'll see you guys tomorrow bye, -bye.